Many veteran CAD users prefer typing over actually making menu selections with the mouse. And as we saw earlier, along the bottom of the CorelCAD window is the command window where we type commands. Typing command names and options is a fast way to draw and edit when you are a touch typist, but if you're not very good at typing, it might actually be slower than choosing a command from one of the menus. The command area is the place where CorelCAD displays additional options and prompts you to additional information that it might need to complete a command. When you see the colon or the double dots here, it means that CorelCAD is waiting for you to enter a command. If you want to enter a command but there's already text after the colon, press the escape key once or twice to cancel the current command. So let's just enter a command here. Typing in the command options has now opened up our options panel which we otherwise could have accessed through the tools menu. So let's just practice entering a couple of commands here. The first command I'm going to type is polyline. And now I'm going to hit enter. The text in blue indicates options. So I have the option to hit enter to continue from the last point, but in this case, I don't actually have a last point. I'm just beginning a new drawing, or I can specify the starting point. So I'm just going to click on my page and clicking on my page gives me further options. And here we can see arc, half width, length, undo, width, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I can either type arc or I can just type in A. So I'm just going to type in A and hit enter. So the next option that I have is to specify the end point of the arc. So I'm just going to drag out and click. If I'm happy with my arc, I'm just going to hit enter. And I've now drawn my first arc. Let's enter another command. I'm now going to type the command line. Hitting enter tells CorelCAD that I've finished entering the command name. Once the command's been given, I now have some options here. I could either move straight to my drawing space and define the starting point and after that the end point of a line, or I could choose here under the options to create a segmented line. And I do this by either typing the letter S or the word segments. So let's type S and enter. I need to specify the starting point of my segment and I'm just going to click again and clicking again gives me further options. And in this case, I'm going to type C because I want to draw a continuous line. C and enter. And I can now move across my page typing a continuous line. If I want to close this shape, I now have the option of typing in the word close or the letter C and hitting enter. And this has now closed my object. If you find the command window a little bit too narrow and you want to look back over the commands that you've put in so far, you could of course scroll up and down this window. But by pressing F2, a larger version of the command window will open and this will give you an overview of what you've entered so far, as well as giving you the ability to enter more commands. To exit out of this window, just press F2 again.